Speaking of just going to sleep, you see what I did there, Katie? We're going to talk about oh, we're going to talk about assisted suicide, otherwise known as euthanasia. No, that is not a continent west of Europe. First of all, what the fuck? No, but it is a really good Megadeth album. <laughs> yes, it is. Let's go. <laughs> Damn sure <laughs> is. Right. All right, Katie. Do you want to take this story away? I would love, honestly. Okay. Um, I have very, I have very feelings. Very feelings on uh, this one, guys. I can't even describe my feelings. Okay, so a couple from the Netherlands, uh, they opted to end their lives uh, with euthanasia together. Um, they met in kindergarten. Jan, uh, 70, and his wife, uh, Els, I'm going to say, uh, 71, from Friesland. So you got yeah. you got Els correctly, correct, but uh, Jan is actually pronounced Jan, where they come from. Jan. Yes. Oh, okay. See, this is why I have you. Did I do Friesland right? Um, uh, Fries Friesland? Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Uh, anyway, they had a lifelong partnership. Uh, they were married for nearly five decades. Um, the husband, Jan... Um, was a sports coach, and Els was a primary school teacher. Uh, Jan struggled for years with back pain after surgery uh, and had surgery uh, to hell in 2003, but he saw no improvements. He was unable to work and often spoke about euthanasia, um, telling him like he didn't want to live with his physical limitations. Um, in November of 2022, Els, the wife, was diagnosed with dementia, she said to BBC, uh, pointing to her body, this is very good, but this is terrible, she added. Pointing to your head. Um, anyway, she said that um, basically with both their conditions declining, Jan's discussion of euthanasia became more of a reality. The pair ultimately opted for a duo euthanasia to end their lives together. And just, um, just put in my two cents here. I completely agree that the best way to listen to that album is in stereo. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. Girl, you anyway. know it's true. God. <laughs> this shit became legal in the Netherlands uh, in April twenty. 20 what 2001 and went into effect in april of 2002 and <laughs> why does it sound like i'm from the netherlands um, that, was, that was great oh my god you had me convinced katie <laughs> anyway god i gotta get through this because i can only focus for so long <laughs> <laughs> before i start spouting out my opinions okay um basically um it's performed by a physician who uh, administers a fatal a fatal dose of a suitable drug to the patient on his or her express request. Um, usually, um, the website says usually basically the patients that come in are usually suffering from unbearable pain or um, no prospect of improvement. Um, but their requests must be made earnestly and with full conviction they see euthanasia as the only escape from the situation but yeah regardless of that um jan said um if you take a lot of medicine you live like a zombie so with the pain i have and l's illness i think we have to stop this so uh basically l said there's no other solution they said uh, i live my life or Jan said that uh, he's lived his life and didn't want to be in pain anymore and said the life we lived, uh, the yeah, the life we've lived, we're getting old. We think it has to be stopped. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. And so this is uh, in the Netherlands. I saw this story. I thought it was interesting because, um, of course, we've had this discussion in the United States for a long time with Dr. Kravorkian back in the day who used to just kind of work. And um, I looked this up, and apparently, in the United States, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different um, states or territories that it is legal. Um, assisted suicide is legal. And then there's an 11th that it is court ordered legality. So basically, 11 places in the United States where, um, again, it's very difficult. 
to get it done because you have to have like multiple different medical providers that agree um, that that's the right step, et cetera. But what do you guys think of um, assisted suicide and euthanasia? I've been talking enough. Y'all go. <laughs> All right. Two things. One. So the Netherlands decided on this in 2002, right? Essentially. Well, 2001, but... Yeah, it took effect in but, 2002. But, but took effect, okay. So the Netherlands saw 9-11 and said, you know what we need to do? Kill more people. Well, to be fair, it was passed in April of 2001, but it went into effect in 2002. So they wanted, to, like, kill, they, to, they wanted to kill more people before 9-11. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm all about killing whoever wants it to have happen to them. Make more room on the highway. Uh, but another thing, uh, this uh, couple that needed assisted suicide, they met in uh, kindergarten. Kindergarten. Who's, right. Okay, who, whose kid were they scouting when they met each other? That's scary. Yeah, that is scary. Yeah. I can't fucking stand y'all. I mean, what I'm worried there's about a, is the fact a, that... There's a San, I'm, I'm worried about the Sandusky connection. Yeah, me too. That and the fact that Jan was a year younger than his wife. Why are they in the same grade? Why is Jan being held back in preschool in the 1920s? Can we talk about this? What's two plus two? Yellow. Now you know he was faking his answers just so he could be close to L's. Everybody can see this, right? Everybody can see that. Like they knew. That's just the Biden answer. Leave him alone. I love it. <laughs> oh my god! But do you do you guys think that this should be legal um, nationwide uh, for, it, for our country? In a, in a country that claims to be the land of the free, uh, absolutely. yeah, absolutely, it should. And all drugs should be legal, legal, and uh, you should be able to do whatever you want to do. But if I do something that upsets you, I feel you have the right to kill me. Where are you going to get a fucking better, fair deal than that? <laughs> I feel the same way. I think there obviously should be some guidelines. Um, I mean, obviously, you can't just, you know, go to a doctor and say, yo, I'm done. You know what I mean? Like, there has, so to, be, there has to be something terminal or something to that effect. I always feel like sending somebody to hospice and just letting them die just feels awful. so fucking wrong to me, right? Like, we should be able to speed that up if that person wants that sped up. I mean, by God, we kill people for... We're killing other people. Why can't we do it as a way of empathy, you know? Mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <sighs> I like to go by firing squad if I could choose my way out. Firing squad? Really? You're going to, you are going to take your own failure or success in the hands of somebody else's aim. <laughs> no, no, no. About 12 or 13 people that I've totally wronged over the years. Oh, so but, the aim will but, improve but I, is what you're saying. <laughs> but but I'm going to give them muskets. Ooh. If they can't get the job done, I'm moving along. And then I'm going <laughs> to line them I'm going to line them up. That's right, because while they're reloading, you could be getting to a different state very easily. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I on Wisconsin. I feel this should definitely be um should definitely be legal in the entire country. Um I don't know. What say you, Katie? I absolutely agree. I, uh, my meemaw, she had uh, Alzheimer's, and like you see someone that was so like lively and so full of life and so happy. Well, she was she was mean. <laughs> my mom's gonna agree on that. She was mean, but she she was just freaking awesome. Um, but she got diagnosed, and by before she passed, she had she like could barely read. Like shit like that. It it does awful things to you. And I mean dementia, I mean, same thing, just about. It's it's awful and I completely get that. And going with your partner, I mean, I would never I don't know that I would be like, Yeah, come die with me. But mm -hmm. <laughs> I uh it's peaceful, I feel like, and you feel less scared, you know, going mm -hmm. in with your partner. I, was, I cried when I read this, and y'all are just over here dying. And I'm over here like, eh. Well, one of the things I always found interesting in this country is that suicide is illegal, but attempted suicide is not. Yeah. 
Like, hello? What? <laughs> it's ridiculous. How is that illegal? Like, when you can't even face the consequences of it. Right, exactly. As, but then attempted... As a, as a person who's entire family has either attempted or succeeded in committing suicide. I, I, this is actually a program I can get behind. Because uh, in my family, if you want to go, we help you out. Very supportive family, then, is what you're trying to say. Oh, absolutely. One of us holds the water, the other one holds the cord, and then the other one holds their hand up in the air while we try to get the Fox News channel. And well, then the other one holds the bag. So to be fair, what TMZ right. is trying to figure out right now is who was holding the garage door down. But <laughs> I digress. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me, it was me. <laughs>